The LA Mission firing up the burners. Volunteers getting ready to serve up a massive Thanksgiving feast to thousands of people. Let's go to CBS News Team Patel live in downtown LA with the look inside the kitchen. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. I got to tell you, this chef is so smart because feeding 1,500 people is a lot about timing. So he's got birds ready to go in the oven. He's got ones that have already been cooked and are already carved up. A whole bunch of things because it's a lot of moving parts, right? A lot of moving parts. Uh, this is a process that takes about a month uh, in advance to order all the materials and product that you need, supplies, equipment. And then it's about two weeks of prep ahead of the game. But we have video from past years, and I'm guessing it is all worth it when you see everybody come in and start to enjoy these special meals, right? It is. Uh, you know, for me, it's, it's rewarding when someone can get a good meal uh, in the midst of uh, food insecurities, in the midst of high inflation, in the midst of, you know, social um, situations, if you will. And Chef, you were being personal with me a little bit earlier. You were talking about your own experiences. And I think that what we don't sometimes acknowledge is that anyone can end up in a situation with food insecurity or homelessness. It is one financial decision, one divorce, one situation away from being homeless. And I think a lot of people don't understand. And that's why it's so important to have the LA mission and, 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 and volunteers really like helping out, right? Yeah. So one of the things that we really strive off of is volunteers. So for uh, this situation here, I mean, just today alone, we have 300 volunteers that are coming in to help execute this process. So we definitely need the help of volunteers, which I encourage everyone to go to losangelesmission.org Los to get involved, because without you, we can't do it. And, uh, and throughout our event today, we're going to offer uh, haircuts, manicures, blankets, COVID tests, and of course, uh, good food. and. Uh, we have uh, good uh, uh, providers that have come out, uh, you know, that have, have helped us. And one of them is Suitcase Joe, who has just been a, a great uh, contributor to this. It, this it takes everyone coming together to make this a it, good it holiday for everyone. It literally takes a village, right? Right? To, to raise a, a family, if you will. And so it takes a village of supporters, a, a village of donors, a village of volunteers to come out to help us with this process. Well, thank you so much for what you do. I know you've got a lot of work ahead of you, so I appreciate you yeah. taking the pause also to talk to us about thank it. You. The meal is going to be served at 11 a.m., and we got to get out of the way because Chef got a lot to do. But look at, look at how good it already looks. Chris and Jasmine? Looks delicious. Tina, thank you so much. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.